let, let me get started then. So, good morning, and uh, we've somehow made it, uh, and happy Monday to everyone. I'm Mr. Seagull, a bit of a sweaty Mr. Seagull this morning, uh, but you can call me Bobby. Um, so can we start by saying good morning, Bobby? Good morning, Bobby. Let's do that properly. Good morning, Bobby. Thank you, um, Amanda, age five. Ha is it Harvin, age six? Ha um, Harvey, age six, rather. Uh, Alex, Marisa, age four. So this today's session had us for uh, ages four to seven. So um, let's get cracking very quickly. Uh, so I'm a maths teacher, uh, a presenter for the BBC Monkman and Seagull show, and an author of a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Numbers. And for me, numbers ha have changed my life. And I wanted to help change your life too. So what we are here today is for, for Explore Learnings, uh, Explore at Home. And we're about keeping education going during these difficult times. So if you go to explorelearning.co.uk, there's more information on how you can book a free trial. And again, one thing that we love at Explore Learning is social media. So if you're enjoying the sessions, and we've got, we've got a cool dance today. Mr. Seagull's got a dance for you today. Um, if you can replicate those things, um, hashtag Maths with Bobby, on Twitter, it's Explore Tutors. Uh, Instagram is Explore Learning underscore official. And I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and Facebook, and YouTube uh, at Bobby underscore Seagull. So please let us know how you're getting on, and especially the raps that we do today. So, if you've been to my lessons before, we always start with a mantra. We always start with a little mantra rap. Hello, Michael uh, and Esther. Hello, Amelia. Hello, Anya and uh, Kian. Good morning, uh, Ethan and Commentary. Good morning, Izzy. Um, and good morning, Josie. So let, let's show you the rap. So normally people sometimes say, I can't do maths. And I say, so they start off with that, a, a sort of cross that they can't do maths. But this is my rap. So it is, yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. So that's new, I'll do it one more time. So you put your arms in a cross, you got that for me? So it's yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Great, thank you. So, um, we've done a few topics already. We've covered fractions and calculations, and today is all about the time. All about the time. So I'm, I'm pleased you managed to make it back from 10 to 10.15. Um, we're looking at measurements next week, then patterns and sequences, then money. So the lesson still will be about 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, I'll do the thoughts of Mr. Seagull where I share positive messages on how to have a really great attitude towards life. Um, and then uh, there's a chance of parents to ask me some questions. I've got five or 10 minutes of um, Q&A. Um, and then it's uh, time for a wrap up. So sometimes I'll give you time to think. And if I give you time to think, I'll hold this. It's a model of my brain for a new BBC program. So when I'm saying time for you to think, you'll be like, hmm, Mr. Seagull, let me think. So that's a thinking time. Put the brain back there. So, who's excited to learn about time? Me, come on, shout loudly. Who's excited? Me. Yes. Let, let's let's get going then. So, which of these would take more time? A flight on a holiday on an aeroplane, or saying the alphabet? Which takes more time? Taking a flight on an aeroplane or saying the alphabet. It is obviously going to be taking a flight, taking a flight, taking a flight. Okay, another one. What about brushing your tooth or reading your book? Which one takes more time? Brushing your teeth or reading a book? Which one? Go on, shout it out. Shout it out. Yes, it should be reading a book. Unless you're spending very long brushing your teeth, but two minutes for that. Okay. And now I'm going to set you a little poll, a little poll for you in a soon, in a bit of a second. Actually, I'll ask it. So which would take more time? Playing outside or sleeping at night? So shout out your answers. So playing outside or sleeping at night, which takes more time. So let's see, I've got some uh, answers here from Sarah, Sabir, Ronnie. Let's see any more answers. 
So, which takes more time playing outside or sleeping at night? A few answers. So, Amisha, uh, Josie, Mita, Claire are all saying sleeping. Yes, you should be sleeping for eight, nine, possibly ten hours uh, a night. So, you can see how time can be used to compare different things. Well done to Donna, Lucy, uh, Asha. Good. Excellent. Well done. Okay. I'm now temporarily going to become an English teacher because I've got this. A dictionary. A dictionary. You know why I'm going to use a dictionary? I'm going to look up some key language words for you. Key language words. Okay. I'm going to go to Q. Hold on. I'm going to go to Q. I need my glasses. So, in Q, there's the word quicker. Quicker. What's the opposite of quicker? Can you type for me in the chat box, what's the opposite of quicker? Hmm. What's the opposite of quicker? So I've got quicker here. I've got it here. I've got it in my dictionary right here. Quicker. And it says here, I've got quicker. What's the opposite of quicker? I'm looking at my dictionary, but I need some help from you. I need some help. I've got a suggestion from Sajiva and Vicky and Monica and Lucy and Ronnie and Steve, Lily. So Lily says slower. Poppy says slower. I think we're on to a winner. It's slower. Good. So what you can say as a sentence is, let me get my toothbrush again. It's quicker to brush your teeth than to read a book. It's quicker to brush your teeth than to read a book. What would the opposite of that sentence be? The opposite. What would the opposite be? It's slower to read a book than it is to brush your teeth. So it's slower to read a book than it's to brush your teeth. So you can use quicker or slower in everyday language. Now another word, let me have a look, another word. So I'm gonna go, I've got my dictionary, so well done to Zara, Amy uh, and Sabir. So I'm moving on to, moving on to E. Hmm, where is this? Okay, I've got the word earlier. Can you help me out? What's opposite of earlier? Hmm. I need some help. I need some help from you. What's opposite of earlier? What's opposite of earlier? Earlier. So earlier, earlier. What's the opposite of earlier? Earlier. So let's see if anyone's got any suggestions. I need some help. Mita's got a good suggestion. So to type it in for me. Uh, Sajiva's got a suggestion. Um, Isla. Hello, Isla. Hello, Nathan. Oh, Nathan tells me it's later. Yes. Thank you. Melody, well done. Melody, well done. It's later. Opposite of earlier. I think, I think I've done with the dictionary there. So, a way to use that is, is nine o'clock earlier or later than 9.30? Is nine o'clock earlier or later? So just shout this one out for me through the screen. It's earlier. It's earlier. How about another one? How about four o'clock in the afternoon compared to half past three? Is that earlier or later? Four o'clock compared to half past three. Go on, give it a shout. Four o'clock is? Later, exactly. Brilliant, really good, really good. So, we're now going to look at some of the key words to do with time. The key words to do with time. I'm gonna get my chalk, my special chalk. So, here are the key words. And if you've got a piece of paper, write it down. Otherwise, store it in your head. So here are the key words. We've got seconds, seconds. We've got seconds. Oh, Samuel says it depends on AM or PM. Yes, we will look at that later. AM or PM, that's very important. Then we've got minutes. And then you can probably guess what's after that. Seconds, minutes, and... If you shouted this out through the screen, well done. Hours, well done. Seconds, minutes, and hours. So, in a minute, how many seconds are there? We know that. So we've got 60 seconds in a minute. How many minutes in one hour? 
60 as well. And then one full day, one full day, all the way, all the way. How many hours in a day? How many hours in one day? How many hours in one day? One full day. I can see a few of you with an up. Parvati. It's, I can see that, 24 hours in one day. And these are the most important things, are the most important things. So I'm going to set up a quick question for you. A quick question. I'm going to type it out now. So the question is going to be, what can we use? I'm going to put it as a separate poll. So what um, can we use to tell the time? So I'm going to, so have a look here. So what can we use to tell the time? Well, April's telling me 23 hours and 54 minutes in a day. Technically, technically, it's a bit shorter. You are right, but we're going to go for 24. So I've got a poll up there. What can we use to tell the time? One clue over here. Maybe another clue here. So what can we use to tell the time? What can we use? So type this away for me. So I've got some good suggestions here. We've got clock by Dorota and Donna and Hasna and Saima. We've got um, watch from Fionn, age five. What else do we have? iPad, that's true by meter. We've got that. What else do we have? Uh, we have clock. A lot of people like the clock. Clock is a very good one. A clock is a very good one. What else do we have? Clock or a watch. Kesha says um, we have a watch as well. Kitchen timer D, uh, from Nathan. That's a very good idea. Kitchen timer. The sun. Beatrice, yeah, that's quite... We can use a sundial. Exactly. Well done. What else do we have? Dylan says clock as well. Um, we've got phone. Of course, computer. Kinga, yes. Kinga and Anna says computer because I can look at my computer and tell the time as well. Uh, we've got iPads, uh, clocks, watches from Melody. So brilliant. We've got phone from Millie. Uh, clock from Ivana, the sun, I love the sun. Oven clock, yes, an oven clock, thank you. So that is uh, brilliant over that. Thank you so much, and Poppy says an oven as well. So we can use lots of different things to tell the time, lots of different things. Uh, we had we had clock, we had the phone, we had our watches, we had um, computers, uh, we even had uh, clock timers on kitchens. So lots of different options. So. I'm going to show you a little prop I have. Little prop, and this looks like this looks like a clock. <laughs> Adam says my tummy. To be honest, Adam, when I'm hungry and it's nearly lunchtime, it's like, and when it's rumbling, I think it's time for lunch. But it's not the most accurate because sometimes my tummy gets hungry at three o'clock, um, just randomly. So I would say uh, use use a clock rather than uh, your yeah, tummy. So. Here is a clock. And if you look here, the most important parts of this clock are the red line and the blue line. This red one here is the shorthand and it tells you the hour. It tells you the hour. And the long hand here, the blue one, tells you the minute. It tells you the minute. For example, this lesson here, if I change the clock, because technology is being naughty to me, you know what? I'm going to put, I'm going to give technology a detention today. I'm going to give it detention. So this is 10 o'clock because we've got the small hand, the hour pointing at the 10 and the long hand pointing at the 12. So that's 10 o'clock. But also we can, we can vary it. It could be now, what's the time now? It is now 10 30, 10 30. So if I move the minute handle, it's quite fidgety to move. Uh, let's see, let's see, Mr. Seagull's moving it. There we go. At 10.30. So again, the minute, the small handle, the small part is pointing at the hours and the large one is pointing down. So 10.30. So we can use this to tell the time. We'll come back to this later. But now it's time for our dance time. Dance time with Mr. Seagull. Dance time. Are you excited for dance time? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a little song to learn how we say the time in different subdividers. By subdividers, I mean, when you look at the clock, often there are key bits. There's, there's quarter past, half past, 
and quarter two. 15, 30, 45, 60. And it's time for some action. So here's the song. We'll do it a few times, okay? So it's, um, let's see if I get this right. Uh, so you put your hands up like that. Put your hands up like that, everyone. Yeah, so hands up. Meet is excited. Um, uh, Ello is excited. People are excited. So Tim's excited. So hands up. Yeah. So it's let's rock around the clock. Tick tock. 15. Tick tock. 30. Tick tock. 45. Tick tock. 60. And that's tick tock around the clock. Let's rock around the clock. Tick tock. 15. Come sing along with me. Tick tock. 30. Tick tock. 45, tick tock, 60, and that's tick tock around the clock. Let's rock around the clock. One more time. Tick tock, 15. Come say with me, tick tock, 30, tick tock, 45, tick tock, 60, and that's tick tock around the clock. Shall we do that one more time? I love that song. I love that song. So it's let's rock around the clock, tick tock, 15, tick tock, 30, tick tock, 45. Tick tock 60, and that's tick tock around the clock. Okay, let's do it one more time. A little bit of a. Okay, let's do it. So, hands up, hands up. Okay, three, two, one, go. Let's rock around the clock. Tick tock. 15, tick tock. 30, tick tock. 45, tick tock. 60, and that's tick tock around the clock. So people, I would love to see your, your dances of this. So if parents, uh, adults, carers want to record a little video or a picture, again, send it to us on Explore Tutors on Twitter or Explore Learning underscore official on Instagram or I'm at Bobby underscore Seagull on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Send us your videos. We want to see what you can do with your song. And we'll do that song again later on in the lesson. So that, that is my TikTok song. I should make that into an actual TikTok as well. So... Where are we now? Examples of time. So, you know in the TikTok song we said TikTok 15. So when we had 15, let me see if I can get my clock. Often, people, they don't say 6.15. What they'll say is it's a quarter past six. And this is where I love maths. Do you, I think if people came to my first lesson, we looked at fractions, we had an apple, I cut it in half and I cut it in quarters. And this is where you see language in fractions being applied here. So here, a clock, that's a full clock turn. This is a quarter of a turn, tick tock, 15. But we can say a quarter past six, a quarter past six, tick tock. This one is half past nine, half past nine. And then you can move it around. This is a bit trickier. This is a bit trickier. Let me get this up. So this is, it looks like 11.45, which is correct, but it's also a quarter to 12. A quarter to 12. Tick tock. And then we're back to the beginning. So we've got, what do we have? We have a quarter past, tick tock, 15. Tick tock, 30 is half past, tick tock. 45, that's quarter two. So they're the key things that we need to know for times. The key things that we need to know. You need a quick sip of water. Mr. Seagull, the TikTok at my age, it gets me tired. Let me do some uh, hellos and shout outs. Uh, Sharon, hello. Yusha and Hafsa from Birmingham. Hello, Birmingham. Um, fractions of fun. Uh, Louise says that. Who else do we have? Uh, Sarah, uh, Gary. Who else do we have? So give me uh, any more shout outs to do here. Well, Mr. Seagull replenishes, replenish with some water. Okay, so we know that, so we can all still hear me, yeah? Hello, Bo, uh, one of my friends, hello, Bo. So um, we'll come back to my song later, Bo, the TikTok song, but I love that song. So uh, let's have a look, hello, Sophie. Uh, and Melody. Hello, Amira from Preston. Uh, hello, who else do we have? Uh, Shivana from Essex. I'll do some more shout outs soon. Maisie Jones loves that dance. We're going to come back to that dance. Okay, so one thing that we count often is we count in fives as well. We count in fives. Five, ten. We say, so imagine now 
it's uh, so the time now is actually ten thirty. If I can get my clock to work, the time now is ten thirty-five. Shout out to Eva Ivana in Aberdeen, Ismail from Bristol, Paige in Cardiff, uh, Siani age six, PJ from Reading. I'll, I'll, I'll do some more shout outs soon. So now it is ten because a small one points at the hour and the large long handle minute handle points here thirty five. So we can count in fives as well. So let's try this. So this is going to be a bit snappy. So let me put this up on my board as well so you can see it. So this is where you need to be good at your times tables. So last week. Um, this is why you see, I love maths. Maths is like a pyramid. It keeps building and building and building where you become really confident people with numbers. So last week we looked at calculations and calculations about the times table. And I'll tell you the most useful times table for telling the time is the fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, we we'll start from there, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60, times in five. But remember, we had special names for these, special names for these. Tick tock, 15 was a quarter past, a quarter past. Tick tock, 30 is half past. Tick tock, 45 is a quarter to. So these are the times. Counting in fives are so important. So let's count it all together, yeah? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let's do that one more time because you need to be really confident with counting in your fives. We'll do it again. Okay? 3, 2, 1, go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. So if you feel confident that you can count in fives, looking at the clock should be something that you can get confident at. So if I did this time, what? let's have a look at this time. Let's have a look. I'm going to give you a time now. So what time is that? What time is that? What would you say that is? What time? Shemaine loves the dancing. You're gonna get more dancing, Shemaine. More dancing from Mr. Seagull. So that time is 10.25. 10.25. And now this is an interesting one, boys and girls. This is an interesting one. So this one here, there's actually two, there's a few ways of saying this. A few ways of saying this. Nathan's correct. So have a look at this time. Have a look at this time. What time is that? What time is that? What time is that? So this is 10, 45, but we can also say it another way. 45 is a quarter to 11. Well done, Mita. A quarter to 11. A quarter to 11. So again, with time, there are different ways of saying it. And again, it gets more complicated, maybe on, uh, Wednesday's lesson with key stage two, we'll look at a.m. and p.m. because this is morning, 10.45 a.m. but at night time, when you should be in bed, getting your sleep, that's 10.45 p.m. but we can look at a 24 hour clock for that. That would be, I think, 22.45. But that's a Wednesday. So that is climbing, or not climbing, going through the time in a day. You can climb if you want, but don't climb clocks. They will probably break. So, We've got five more minutes before we wrap up the lesson and I talk about a few interesting things. But we're gonna, we're gonna do an example, a story of a day. So let's say you wake up at, what time is that? So you wake up in the morning, you wake up in the morning, so you're sleeping and your alarm goes off. So you wake up at what time? You can shout it through the screen, I think I can hear you. Let's shout it through the screen. Bo, shout it for me. It is. Hello, Caden and Kyle. Thank you. Caden and Kyle, what, what time is it? You wake up? You wake up. Hello, James and Jenna from Th Thailand in London. Wonderful. It's now 7.30. And it takes you half an hour, half an hour to get ready. 
Miley, I'm glad this is fun. Half an hour. That's a long time. So get ready. Get ready. Just break my board. <laughs> uh, get your tie on. So it takes you half an hour to get ready. What time is it next? Half an hour to get ready. It's now going to be... So you tell me. So 7.30 is when you wake up. And it takes you half an hour to get ready. Half an hour to get ready. What's the time? Half an hour to get ready. It's now going to be... Eight o'clock. 30 minutes. Well, someone here, Bo, says he wakes up at 6.30. That's really good. Um, um, this is Mr. Seagull's time. I'm having a lion. I'm having a lion. But Bo, you can wake up at 6.30. That's, that's brilliant. So eight o'clock. That's half an hour. And now you spend a quarter of an hour tidying your room because your mom or dad or your carer said, tidy your room. Bobby, tidy your room. It's messy. Look at this. Look at the books. They're all in a mess. So it's eight o'clock and you take quarter of an hour to tidy your room. What's the time now? Quarter of an hour to tidy your room. Quarter of an hour, quarter of an hour. It's now 8.15, 8.15, 8.15. And then the final bit is you get ready for breakfast in five minutes. What would that be? You get ready for breakfast in five minutes. So it's now quarter past eight. You get ready for breakfast in five minutes. The time is 20 past eight, 20 past eight. So with time, the great thing is, it's something that we're learning. Is it going to be a bad joke? All the time. That's a good joke. Come on, please tell me that was a good joke. We're learning about time all the time because breakfast, lunch, dinner, lessons, Joe XP, Maths with Bobby. We're always trying to work out where we need to be and at what time. So that is the time. That is the time that we need to learn about. So we're going to do a, uh, we're going to go back to that song. We're going to go back to the song before Mr. Seagull's um, uh, positivity. So the song today was all about TikTok. TikTok. So I'd love you to send me your videos of you doing the TikTok song uh, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, and TikTok at Bobby underscore Seagull, hashtag Maths with Bobby and at Explore Tutors on Twitter and Instagram at Explore Learning underscore official. I want to see this song, okay? Let me get my, my lyrics. Let me get my bars. Mr. Seagull needs his bars. Okay. So here it is. So it's, remember, it's Let's Rock Around the Clock, Tick Tock, all the way around. And that's Tick Tock Around the Clock. Okay. So let's do shout outs. Paige says it's a funny joke. Thank you. I, I, I'm funny. My students sometimes say, Mr. Seagull, you're not funny. But I like to think I am. Okay, so we're going to do the um, Charlie likes it as well. So bo at Bobby underscore Seagull, that's it. Um, so here's the song, remember? So it's arms up. Three, two, one, go. Let's rock around the clock. Tick tock, 15. Tick tock, 30. Tick tock, 45. Tick tock, 60. And that's tick tock around the clock. Tick tock, 15. Tick tock. 30, tick tock, 45, tick tock, 60, that's tick tock, around the clock, one more time, tick tock, 15, tick tock, 30, tick tock, 45, tick tock, 60, that's tick tock, around the clock, that's the clock. So hopefully, boys and girls, you feel more confident looking at the time. So whenever you're going about your day, you're planning your events, lunch, dinner, playtime, games, Joe Wicks. You need to be always looking at the time because you are learning about maths and numbers constantly. Constantly. It's amazing. It's amazing. Maths really is everywhere. Tick tock around the clock. Hello, David. So we will obviously come back to our positive song. But I'm going to talk to you about something. My, my thoughts on Mr. Seagull. So what I do, uh, adults, carers, parents, um, and uh, students is I, I, I like to be positive. So this is called Thoughts of Mr. Seagull Time. And I share positive thoughts with my students. So here, here's a question for you. Who can succeed in maths or English or anything? Is it the cleverest person? Is it the smartest person? Or is there something else? Is there something else? Actually, I think there is something else. 
It's all about your mindset. It's all about your mindset. So let me show you two people. You might recognize them. Do we recognize them? Do you re who are these two people here? Do you recognize these people? I'm trying to get them balanced up. Do you recognize them? Who are these two people? So these two people could be anyone. They could be anyone. But I'll tell you one thing. How do you know someone's going to be good at maths or English? Is it because they've got cool hairstyles? They've got nice outfits? No, it's to do with their mindset. It's a mindset. We've got a fixed mindset person. And these people sometimes think, oh, I made a mistake. I really find things difficult. I can't do it. But the opposite of that is a growth mindset. And these people think, actually, if I work hard, and I put effort, I can become good at something. And that's really important. That's really, really important. All of you, again, sometimes there are things that we find difficult, but with a growth mindset, you say, I know it's difficult, but I'm gonna work harder. And I'll give you an example of how people can do this. Someone might say, I can't do my times tables. That's what the fixed mindset person says. I can't do my times tables, but, you know what the growth mindset person says? They say, I can't do my times tables yet. I can't do my times tables yet because they think that they will get better. They will get better. So they say, I can't do it yet. That's what you always say. You add that word, the three powerful letters, yet. So another one, someone says, I can't read my bicycle. I can't read my bicycle. I can't read my lines. I can't ride my bicycle. <laughs> I can't ride my bicycle. Fixed mindset. But what does the growth mindset person say? I can't ride my bicycle yet. I can't ride my bicycle yet because they've got a growth mindset. They know it's difficult, but they think I'll do it later. I can't ride my bicycle yet. How about something that I find difficult? Okay. Mr. Seagull's not very good at dancing. Oh, maths. I love that. Mita says, let's do that. So someone with fixed mindset might say, I can't do maths. I can't do maths. And I'll be like, yes, you really can. And he said, why? Because he says the same thing. I can't do maths. But you know what he says? I can't do maths yet. That means you're going to keep progressing. There's a topic. Imagine it's fractions. Imagine it's multiplication. Imagine the seven times table. The, the most powerful three letters I think are yet. You can, anything you want, anything you want, you need to transform this, get rid of this, throw it away. We want this, the growth mindset, where in maths in particular, you say, I can't do something yet. And then you will progress. Maybe I'm finding the time difficult. That's okay. I can't do it yet. So all of us today, whatever it is, whether it's learning to bake something, where there's learning a dance move. Again, I want to learn the floss. It's not, it's not, it's not quite there. Again, I could be fixed mindset and say, I can't do the floss. Or I can say, I can't do the floss yet, but I will practice. I will work hard. I'll put in effort. You put in all that and your mindset becomes positive. And for maths, that's so, so important. So the word that we learned today is uh, about mindset and yet. Okay. So I've got a few questions from parents, and don't worry, we, we're gonna we're gonna come back to our, our come back to our songs, come back to our songs. So let's see. Um, oh, you know they actually the yes I can do maths makes makes sense now. We'll do that song, and I've got a few questions from parents coming up. So, um, so remember, it's the, the, the this is this is brilliant. This is the fixed mindset where they put the cross, but then we transform that into a growth mindset. So remember, this is, a, this is the one that we do all the time. So it's remember, yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. One more time. So put your arms together. One, two, three. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. Yes, I can do maths. So it's that positivity. That's the growth mindset that will make you really confident with numbers. So a few questions. Um, and then some conclusion. So again, on Wednesday, we've got Key Stage 2, 7 to 11. And if you enjoyed today's lesson, you can come back and we'll learn more about the time. Again, please tell your friends, your family, other people in your class, 
Uh, we'd love them to know about this. And again, any videos you have, um, send them to at Explore Tutors or at Bobby underscore Seagull on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok itself, um, with hashtag Master Bobby. We'd love to see your videos of how you're doing it. So uh, a few more shout outs. Kalani can do maths, yes. Um, Isa, Bo can do maths. So the question is, someone says, how can I help my child to tell the time? And that's a good question. And what I would say is, wear a watch. Wear a watch. It can be a digital one. It can be a digital one, like that. Or it can be an analog one, a bit like this one here. Although I wouldn't wear a watch this big. You will look very ridiculous, okay? Don't wear a watch this big, wear a small one. So I would say wear a watch. Um, also talk about time. So imagine after this lesson, uh, you want a snack uh, and you're, the, the adult in the room says soon, the adult should say, you'll have your snack in 15 minutes or in quarter of an hour. Use time in your everyday language and that will make you really confident. So for, for children here, can you please uh, talk to your parents about time and you can say to your, 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 your adults, um, lunch today should be in three quarters of an hour. Don't be too demanding, but use the language and the adults will be really impressed with you. So um, let's have a look in terms of, uh, if I get any more questions coming up, uh, if there are any more questions, please do shout them out. Um, yes, yeah, so for work, for additional work, people are asking, if you go to, oh, if I can turn this round, Mr. Seagull's having difficulties. Where is it? If you go to explorelearning.co.uk and you go to the club, there are worksheets there and activities. So just a few things before we wrap up and come back to our TikTok song is, um, this is one for all the adults. If you're a fan of University Challenge, that's uh, the quiz show that I did a few years ago. In fact, if you can have a look, can you see that sign, Seagull? That's my University Challenge sign. Actually, this is it for students who are there. So Mr. Seagull actually um, became known by other students in the country because he did a quiz show called University Challenge, um, which is, like, they have lots of questions about maths, English, science, history. And I'll tell you what, I wasn't very good at quizzing, but I worked hard. I practiced, I had that growth mindset. I thought, I'm not good at quizzing yet, but I worked hard and I felt really confident with it. So tonight at 8.30 is the final, the final of the whole series of University Challenge. Um, and afterwards at nine o'clock on my YouTube channel, I'm actually hosting an event. It's called hashtag quiz for NHS. And if you go to justgiving.com forward slash quiz for NHS, so it's F-O-R, NHS. Um, and again, it's on my Twitter at Bobby underscore Seagull. I'm holding an event where I talk to some of the finalists, the champions, some of the most smartest people from the quiz show and talk to them about how they got into quizzing. And I'll tell you one thing. This is a brilliant thing. One of the people in the final today, a man called Brandon, he's been brilliant this year. And people have said, oh, you're so smart. And he said this phrase, which really fits in with our theme today. He said, Effortless excellence is a myth. And let me write that for you. I really want to write that for you. And again, I know we're, we're nearly up for, done for time. Write this down. Effortless excellence is a myth. I'm actually going to put this up in my form class. So I'm going to effortless. And I'll tell you what this means. Effortless excellence is a myth. I'll tell you what this means. It says effortless excellence is a myth. And I'll tell you why this is really good. Because, because um, sometimes when people will see me, they're like, oh, Mr. Seeker, Bobby, you're really good at numbers and maths. You're, you're, you're just excellent and you don't seem to put any effort into it. And I'll say, I don't know, I might be confident now, but that's because I've worked hard. I know, I had the growth mindset there are times I found things difficult. I remember when I was learning my times tables, when I was looking, learning the time for the first time, I found it difficult, but I put in the effort because I says, I can't do it yet. And I put in lots of effort and now I'm excellent. So this is a great phrase, effortless excellence is a myth. To be good at something, you've got to practice. You've got to work hard. And if you work hard, we can all be good at something. So again, tonight on my YouTube channel, uh, it's a quiz for NHS. So join me there if you're into quizzing or tell other friends that like quizzing. So I got a couple more questions here. Someone says, how can I, how can my child push yourself? So 
What I would say about pushing yourself is sometimes look at work beyond your age. Not too far ahead because it will be difficult, but if you found today's lesson confident about time and you're age four to seven, come along on Wednesday at 10 o'clock from seven to four. It's, a, it's for seven to 11 year olds in key stage two, but come along. And again, it might be tricky, but it means that you're really pushing your brain, stretching that, what is it? Your brain grows when it's challenged. So what I'd love you to do is try, try and come along to Wednesday session. So that's why I say, always push yourself a bit more. So the final few messages are, um, again, I'm really excited. I'm Mr. Seagull. I love maths, you can tell. I love maths, I love maths, I love maths. <laughs> um, and, and Explore Learning in particular, because they uh, have Explore at home, because they want to keep you learning through these difficult times. And again, if you go to the club on the Explore Learning uh, website, uh, you can find more activities and worksheets. And again, please, 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 we love social media. We love you to uh, tweet us, uh, Instagram us, uh, even on TikTok, on YouTube, whatever it is. So I'm at Bobby underscore Seagull, hashtag Maths with Bobby. And it's at, at Explore Tutors and at, at Explore Learning underscore Official on Instagram. Please send us your videos. Please send us your videos. So I think it's time to, again, wrap up the lesson. I want to say a big thank you for waiting today and it was worth it. I hope it was worth the time today. Um, so here we go. So let's do a final few shout outs. Final few shout outs. Uh, Sahita, um, Beatrice, uh, was it Aslia, Gunnel, hello. Um, uh, who else do we have? Louisa. So a myth is something that isn't real, a myth. Someone asked, what is that? A myth is something like a flying horse or flying pig, they don't really exist. So you've been all wonderful today. You've been really patient. Um, you've been really patient with me. So let's do the final song. So we know the song, yeah? The TikTok song. And if adults out there, you want to send us the videos of this song, we love to see it. I need, I need a backing track. So remember? So it's, uh, let's rock around the clock. TikTok 15, TikTok 30, TikTok 45, TikTok 60, and that's TikTok around the clock. We'll do that three times to end, okay? So. Let's rock around the clock. Tick tock, 15. Tick tock, 30. Tick tock, 45. Tick tock, 60. Let's rock around the clock. Tick tock, 15. Tick tock, 30. Tick tock, 45. Tick tock, 60. And that's tick tock around the clock. One more time. Let's rock around the clock. Tick tock. Come on, loudly. 15. Tick tock. 30. Tick tock. 45. Tick tock. 60. And that's tick tock around the clock. Thank you so much. You've been all wonderful. Um, so Wednesday's class is at 10 o'clock uh, for Key Stage 2. Please come back. More about the time. You've been such a wonderful uh, student class and parents and carers uh, and we love your enthusiasm for math so please keep sending us um someone says can they post me an apple it might get rotten by the time you send it but thank you i've been bobby seagull and i've been teaching with explore learning you've been wonderful students and i'll see you all maybe wednesday friday or next monday um thank you so much and have a great afternoon tick tock around the clock thank you nathan